Hello and welcome to the Bernabeu in Santiago. I don't actually know where we're playing this game, but we're playing Cagliari. Oh, it's Real Madrid Stadium. It is the Bernabeu. The Bernabeu that, you know, this is such a cool opportunity to play in the Bernabeu. Like, what an amazing... Who would have thought that little Wimbledon, you know, watching, playing, uh, you know, non-league football 15 years ago, uh, not even a professional team, now in the Bernabeu. Playing against Cagliari, Caglia, Cagli, Cag, 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 Cagliar, Cag, it, Italy. Playing against Italy. Today's uh, topic is from a Project for Awesome donor, Zipwa Games, who writes, We are a small game company that's been around for 19 years with four games published. How do we affordably reach new customers? Well, first, Zipwa Games, just by donating to the Project for Awesome and then having people click the link in the description to your website. That's the first way that you affordably reach new customers. This is a hard thing. And, and that ball went off the post. I thought it was going well wide, but then it, it turned out to be as, as close to scoring as you can possibly be without scoring. And then now we're down 1-0. Okay, the, not off to a great start here. But th yeah, this is one of the like most difficult questions, I think, for small companies. Because you need to do marketing, but you can't do marketing the way that big companies do marketing, right? Like you can't do TV ads, um, or at least we can't do TV ads. Um, and even like even even small marketing spends on like, say, like a targeted YouTube campaign or something or, or a targeted Facebook campaign or whatever, they feel very big because you know, like you're, you're, you're playing. It's not like, oh, we've got this amount of money every year set aside for marketing. It's more like if you're a small company, it's more like, do we, do we choose marketing or do we choose to have, you know, one more employee have a job this year? And it's very hard in that. I mean, you know, it's just, I, I, we, this is something we really struggle with. Like we're not, we're not particularly good at this. I'm not sure that you should have. Okay. It's two now. All right, um, well, listen, it's important to know what you're good at, and we are apparently not that good at football, so that's an important lesson. We're starting our two um, backup strikers today, by the way, uh, the Icelandic guy and the other one, Will Grigg, and so far, I mean, so far they look terrible. Uh, the Icelandic guy just failed to make a turn. Will Grigg has been a complete bust for our team, as indeed uh, Will Grigg has been for the team that he plays for in real life. Um, it's And so I'm trying to sell Will Grigg, but nobody wants to buy him. And I understand why. He's on very high wages, and he is not very good. Um, meanwhile, they're all like, you know who we are interested in? John Green. And I'm like, yeah, no, he's not available. Come on, let's get one back. Oh, it's off the post. Very close to a goal. I mean, I, I really, I want one of these boys to emerge as a new Wimbledon legend. But all I'm seeing so far, like that, what, what Will Grigg just did when the ball was passed directly to him was one of the most reprehensible things I've ever seen on a football pitch in my entire life. So that's discouraging. Also, you shouldn't ask me for marketing advice when I spend 100% of my personal marketing budget every year sponsoring a third-tier English football team that has absolutely no demographic overlap with my natural audience. <laughs> oh, I've been, I, I, I've been injured. Okay. All right. Yeah, his name's Omarson, and he was just forced off the ball in humiliating fashion. Pass the ball. That's Will Grigg. Will Greg cut back and shoot? Oh my God. Uh, well, there you are. That's that's how we've started the game. Um, it's it's been a disappointing first half to say the least. I wanted to give these boys a chance, but they don't appear to be worthy of that chance, which is concerning. So, yeah. Um, here's what here's what we try to do. Uh, like I did a marketing campaign for my brother's book um, and it wasn't super cheap, but it was fairly cheap. And what I did was I tried to find interesting things to sponsor. Like uh, I sponsored the Dutch national Quidditch team. Um, things that are extremely niche, but that are a good fit for our audience. Um, I sponsored, uh, you know, several first robotics teams because my brother's interested in uh, 
you know, in, in, in STEM and in developing interest in STEM in secondary uh, uh, education settings in kind of some non-traditional ways. And so like that, that was a good match for me. Um, and also like these are things that I feel good about sponsoring regardless of, okay, it's three now. These are things I feel good about sponsoring regardless of, uh, I mean, that was a very good shot, you know, like, I mean, that we didn't face that all last year. Anyway, I hope Rafa is getting his comeuppance for his constant complaints that he doesn't start despite being a genius. Like, you know, Rafa, this is what life is going to look like this year. It's going to be a lot of suffering. Um, it's not like we're going to win the Premier League here in year one. We're just going to try to get a little bit better. We're going to try to not get relegated. And then then we're going to push on. But it's going to this is a, this is a. Uh, a not gentle reminder that we're looking here at a multi-year process. There's only one response to being down 3-0 at halftime, and that's to bring off all of these jag-offs and bring on, bring on the stars of the show. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know what, and there's no reason to get Anoma hurt in this situation, so I'm going to bring on Vinny Thrill, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if we can make a comeback. Can we? No, definitely not. We can't score three goals and a half. But, you know, it's still, uh, it's still, it's still a good experience for Vinny Thrill. It's important for these guys to remember to know what it feels like to lose. So I, I, I always suggest, like, trying to find things that you're passionate about and that fit with the passions of your community, the community of, uh, of potential customers that you have out there. Um, I don't know anything about like gaming marketing, you know, like Hank has made two tabletop games, which did okay, but they did okay because like we have this existing audience that gives us a certain amount of activation energy. So like if we have a bad idea, our audience is usually like, yeah, I'm not really that into that. Thanks for your, you guys are great, but that idea is, is, is weird and not great. Um, but if we have a good idea, our audience is often like, oh, hey, we're excited about that. Like, we'll support that. And, and yeah, I would like to play an evil baby orphanage um, tabletop card game or whatever. Uh, and so some of it for us is about the quality of the idea. And then we try to market the things that are the really good ideas and not to um, bother investing too much in the things that turn out not to be good ideas. And we trust our community to... Um, you know, to kind of tell us through showing what the good ideas are and what the good ideas aren't. Um, and then the other thing that we do uh, is we, you know, spend money when we think there is a new audience out there that doesn't yet know about a thing that we're trying to market that would be excited about it. So the obvious example for that in our in our work is VidCon, a conference we used to own that we don't own anymore, but um, that we owned for the first, you know, like eight years that it was around. And with VidCon, you know, we understood that there was a big audience that was interested in attending online video conferences that didn't watch Vlogbrothers videos. And so we invested more heavily in marketing there because it was, at, it was something that was like outside of our like built in viewership community, but was still, but, but we knew there was a big audience because we were deeply familiar with that audience. Um, I do think that like little things like participating deeply and not just um, in a marketing -y way in the communities that matter to you can do a lot to help your uh, the standing of, of your company in, in that world. So we try to be good members of the online video community. Um, and, and to, to, and, and, and that means by the way, like not only trying to model best practices for younger, less experienced YouTubers, it also means like trying to be mentors and, and, and being open to, to mentorship and, and willing to, to, to play that role if we can in people's in people's lives and it also means at times like being a fan like genuinely loving the stuff that you love and and trying to learn like why is this so good and why do i love it so much um wow they hit the post it could be five nil but it isn't yet i'd like to make that substitution but i believe oh i can oh you can make more than three substitutions because it's uh because it's um it's not it's not real this is a this is a fake game 
thank God. Otherwise, otherwise it would be a real concern that we, was, we, we were down 3-0 at halftime. But as it is, it's all good. I do, uh, I do hope that we get paid something even if we don't win this tournament because it does appear unlikely that we will win it. All right, every, we, we've made all five of our substitutions now. I don't think we have anybody left on the bench. Um, if we did, God knows I would bring them on because everybody needs to know how it feels to lose so badly. Um, not just where you're losing, but where, like, there's no hope. Get it? Oh, it's a beautiful deflected goal for Vinny Thrill. I mean, that's great to see. It's great. Vinny Thrill, I want you to go and hug your manager. Why did you stop running? Oh, man. I wanted you to hug your manager. So th I guess those are my main recommendations. I, 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 it, it, this is a hugely difficult thing. And for those, like, as a consumer, and I would encourage other, other consumers to think about this, like, think about how you can support smaller companies. Uh, smaller companies employ so many more people per dollar of revenue than big companies do. It's crazy. Like, the example I always use is that Google, I think, employs one person for every, like, $1.2 million of revenue, and Complexly employs one person for every, like, $90,000 of revenue. So it, it really is a good um, investment in people and in, like, communities and the structure of the universe, I think, to support smaller businesses. So, yeah, check out Zipwa Games, and thanks for watching. Sorry I got absolutely smacked. Best wishes.